Thanks a lot, Mike. Yes, it has become a rather foggy day out there, and the way things look, it's going to remain that way as long as uh, that ice and snow remain on the ground and the warm air advects or lifts up over our terrain. Let's take a look at our 7 a.m. map. High pressure located across the Ohio Valley down into the southeastern U.S. Trying its hardest to clear us out, but it's really having a difficult time of it. Again, as I said, you have the fog developing because of the ice and snow on the ground and the warm air traveling above that, just like refrigerator, the cold air intact with the warm air, and you get that foggy conditions. Our temperatures across the region, they're not too bad this time of the morning for the 9th of January. Uh, nothing really frigid across here, even in the northwest corner of this map. Temperatures in the upper 20s to low 30s, a few mid 20s out there. And our local map for Ohio and surrounding states looks like this. Nothing major in the way going on here. Just to show you that, yes, we do still have the Buckeye State and surrounding locations reporting some conditions. A few snow showers, rain showers mixed together in northern Indiana possible. Cloudy skies and some fog across the area and a trough off to our east making its way to the east. Now, temperatures across this area look like this. Temperatures range from the upper 20s in Ohio to the middle 30s down here along the Ohio River. And it will continue to increase as far as temperature is concerned, especially once we get a system into the area that's going to warm us up substantially for a couple of days. Your traveler's forecast for the day Wednesday looks like this. There is going to be a minimal chance of rain, sleet, freezing rain, or snow across the Buckeye State. It's going to be a mix from time to time until the temperature warms up. That will be ahead of the front, a warm front. When the temperature warms up, you'll finally see temperatures in the mid-40s in the north to the mid-50s down here along the Ohio River. So it is going to get milder for a couple of days, but the weekend, there's a big, big, big question mark as far as that's concerned. Your five-day forecast, Wednesday is just basically a ho-hum cloudy day. Thursday and Friday, rain moves in along with a system moving out of the south. Near 60 on Thursday, 50 degrees on Friday. And then Saturday, the big question mark as far as that's concerned. Will it be snow? Will it be a mixture? We've got a low pressure developing across the southern plains states. I've seen an awful lot of model maps coming out that indicate upwards to a foot and a half or 20 inches of snow in parts of Ohio for the weekend. Don't worry about it. Don't even think about accumulations at this point in time. We will talk about accumulations when Thursday rolls around. So there will be a storm moving into the area this weekend, but what and how much remains to be seen. And we won't spread any fear factor until we get a pretty good handle on it. Hey, Dave will be back with your sports report and not such great news for the uh, Cleveland Cavaliers in just a minute.